Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the new Ultimate 2.0 Robotic Kit. Now this was sent over by our sponsors over at MakeBlock. For your very own, check out the link down below. Now this actually costs $319.99, but you actually get 10 robots in one kit. It's actually great for beginners as well as people who want to actually expand on robotics. In addition, the possibilities are actually infinite. So before we go ahead and actually build something, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. All right, so this here is our box, and as you can tell, it's actually really, really big. Uh, it's actually very heavy too, just because the parts itself are actually made of high-grade aluminum, uh, which is actually mentioned right over here. Now, it does have infinite extensibility. It's a 10-in-1 kit. Uh, it is Arduino as well as Raspberry Pi compatible. It's app-enabled, and it has encoder motors, and it can supports various different programming languages. Now, here it actually shows the different kind of robots you can build. Uh, what we'll be building is actually the robotic arm tank today. You can also build a camera dolly, 3D capture, self-balancing robot, as well as a robotic bartender. Now, it is Bluetooth, so you don't have to worry much about the terms of wireless and how that all works out. Uh, over here kind of shows all the other different robots you can make, including a rolling tank, a robotic ant, a catapult, a uh, detecting robot, as well as much, much more. Now, on the side here, uh, kind of goes in a little bit more details about what's uh, included. Uh, and then on the back here, it shows all the different specs that you can actually see. Uh, so this here is a robotic tank, kind of shows the blueprint of it. Uh, shows all the different electronic modules, so you do get a Mega Pi. Uh, here's all the mechanical parts here. Uh, and then a little bit more specifications on the Mega Pi itself. Uh, and how you can actually control it, uh, the battery supply. Uh, and then specifications on the kit itself, all the different parts that are included. So it's actually a really interesting kit. It comes with a lot of different things here. Uh, if you want to check out the description down below, I'll actually mention as much as I can. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up here. So this kind of just slides open like that on the top here. And then we just kind of open it like this. There you go. So on the top here, we actually have our instruction manual, kind of explaining exactly how to build the actual robot itself. So I'll be definitely using this on how to actually build our arm, uh, as well as uh, it shows a few different other robots, uh, kind of talks about basic knowledge about the Mega Pi, shows all the different parts here on the side, so good to know. All right, so let's go ahead and open this, and wow, look at that. This is some high quality stuff. Uh, right off the back, I'm going to tell you, this is looks like it's made out of aluminum here. Uh, and the quality of this material is actually very, it's got like a nice metallic finish to it. So it's actually got a very nice high grade quality feel to it. It's actually really sturdy. I can't even bend it if I wanted to. But um, yeah, so that's really neat. Uh, we got a lot of different things going on here. Uh, these are here are motors, as you can tell. So it looks really cool. Definitely high grade stuff here. Uh, we got some rubber tires as well. Uh, then here's our claw, so that actually looks really cool. It's actually got a lot of different things going on with it. Uh, you can actually see there's like a tiny motor here on the bottom. Uh, it's got like some nice grip. You got some electronic equipment here. Uh, so this here is some plexiglass pieces. Uh, you actually peel off this here, so good to know. Uh, then some more metal pieces as well. So let's go ahead and lift this up. We got some gears as well over here. Look at that. Really cool. <laughs> Uh, and then we got another, what is this, uh, storage box, interesting, so you can actually store the extra pieces in this box here. Uh, so we got some other pieces in here as well, so these here are all our little electronic components here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take all this stuff, these are small little chips. Uh, everything nicely packed and looks very, very nicely organized. Uh, here's our, all our different wires that we get, uh, here is the computer itself, our little looking Mega Pi, looks really nice, uh, nicely packed. Um, this here is, it looks like it's for the actual uh, rails itself in terms of making a tank. Uh, we got some more components here, we got some nuts, we got some screws, our battery pack. Wow, look at that. This is a very nice looking um, tool case that it comes with too, so very neat. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of different things going on here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves a robotic arm.
Right, so our robot is finally done, and as you can tell, this thing looks really cool. It's actually got a lot going on here. Uh, you can actually see everything. The lights are blinking, uh, the motors are all plugged in. I got the battery pack on the back here, um, and then you know, I got the claw here. It's actually a very nice looking, great quality claw here. So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I actually uh, turned it on here, and I have the Bluetooth connected on my phone. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load up the app just to show you guys. Uh, so the way it kind of works is when you turn on the app itself, you go ahead and click on uh, Ultimate 2.0, uh, in which it will show you all the different robots that you can build. But uh, since we did the robotic arm tank, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, and then in the app itself, it's really self-explanatory. There's a clamp, a arm up, arm down thing. So let's see how this works. So, <laughs> so it actually goes pretty high up, as you can tell. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then if you bring it back down. So, and then you actually have the clamp uh, itself. So let's try that. And then you have the unclamp. And then you have your basic movements, so you can kind of drive it around the way you please. So let's try that out. There you go, that's forward, that's back. And uh, this is the, like you can rotate it and, you know, pretty much just do just about anything with that. Um, let's see how this guy actually grabs things. Alright, so in this attempt here, we're going to see if we can actually grab Cosmos Cube here uh, and see if this arm thing actually works. So let's go ahead and raise his arm up. There we go. And let's bring him closer to it. There we go. And let's go ahead and see if we can lower it. Uh, up. There we go. And then let's go and clamp it. Alright, and let's go ahead and bring his arm back up. And we have ourselves Cosmos Cube. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well there you have it. This robot is actually pretty cool. It's got a lot of different things going on with it and the quality itself is really high. I love the different materials that they use with it. In addition, you know, it's actually a very fun piece to build and the fact that you can actually expand on it is very unique. Now, for instance, in this particular robot, the ultrasonic sensor I actually added to it myself. So, for instance, if I want to be able to use it, I can go into the app itself and go into design uh, and then you can actually like adjust and like add your own buttons and kind of go based on that but if I go into like uh, let's see here under sense and I click on ultrasonic uh, I can actually uh, sorry I can drag that and place it but first I got to make room for it so let's do that there you go and then if I click on that um, I can close a port uh, and then I can select the port in which I actually plugged into number eight down here uh, so I'll go ahead and select on eight and then from there well I'll just hit confirm and now we have ourselves an ultrasonic sensor, so pretty cool. Uh, and then you can actually see the readings happening as I'm using it. So you can actually program this uh, with your own um, sense. So for instance, if I go into the design itself, uh, and if I go into, oops, sorry, if I click on one of these buttons here, I can click on code, and then I can actually code it based on what I want. So uh, if I do detect, uh, I can use the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, and then there's so many different things you can do with it. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so, you know, just kind of play around with it and you can actually learn a lot off of it. Uh, so you're not just limited to what's on the box. So keep that in mind. Uh, overall, you know, the material itself is amazing. I, I always love these MakeBlocks products. They're actually very high quality pieces. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the only thing that I would say is downside was actually the build process itself. You know, uh, being able to label the different parts would be actually very helpful. You know, a lot of the parts look identical. So uh, it was kind of confusing and I had to redo a few steps uh, quite a few times. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, the Ultimate 2.0, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.